Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad Reviews with me, Dave the Beer Dad. And today, well, before I go into today's beer, let me show you. Let me show you. I have been beer shopping today. Um, I went to the homebrew shop in Oxton on the Whittle. Um, again, I put a link into their website below. Feel free to take to go up and have a little look. Loads and loads of beers, wine, gin, brandy, the whole lot. But again, the link will go in there below. While I was there, let me run through what I purchased. I got a Northern Mug um, Session IPA coming in at 4.1%. I like more than mug, looking forward to that one. I got uh, another ABC, um, eight, a, um, a to the K. Now, I've done one of these before, I did the Hoi Polloi some time ago. So, again, looking forward to this one. This is an oatmeal uh, pale ale, and this weighs in at a hefty 5.6. So, again, another one to look forward to. Um, Sierra Nevada IPA Hop Hunter. Made it at 6.2, brewed with farm distilled hop oil. So, again, another one. I quite like to see any of other stuff. Um, the torpedo was excellent, um, and so was another one that I've done. I can't remember. Um, the other two that I've got um, one is a, it's a collaboration, it's Firestone Walker and it's Beaver Town, and it's the West Side Bevo. Um, and this rocks in at a hefty 6.5 it is an IPL an imperial pale lager I've seen a few reviews of this on the internet this can looks absolutely outstanding and again looking forward to reviewing that one um, I also got another Firestone Walker because I, again I've been watching reviews of these and everyone said the beers are brilliant the beers are sensational the beers are really good Blah, 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 blah. So I thought I've got to get myself a little slice of this action. So I've got, whether it's, whether it's any good or not, I don't know. But I'll soon find out. It's, it's the Firestone Walker Easy Jack IPA. I haven't looked on the internet to see whether there is other reviews of this. I'm assuming there are. But it's an art, there are. There's, there's, I still give it my own honest opinion. So the beer that we're going to do today is the one, two, three, four, sixth that I bought. And it is the first one in the world. Well... On YouTube, certainly that I could find, and it's Liverpool Organics Shipwreck IPA, and this is a bottle conditioned relay weighing in at six point six percent. There you go. Basically, it's another straight Liverpool Organic logo um, label. Um, the actual background changes colour with the different beers. Um, sort of the twenty four karat gold is yellow. The Haku, so the Raku is blue, I think. Uh, there's a few I've have photographs on. Kitty Wilkinson will have a photograph on, um, and there's a there's a few others. But again, we'll go through we'll go through these as and when I get my hands on them. Um, Five hundred ml bottle. It says a true Indian pale ale, intense citrus and powerful hot flavors. Safe, cool, not cold, and decanted to glass, leaving sediment behind. If chilled below ten degrees, this ale will become cloudy. This is normal. So a decent little bit of um, information there. And again, Liverpool Brewery, Liverpool Guy Brewery, based on Liverpool, telephone number and the website again, which I will stick in the bottom underneath. Uh, suitable for vegans, ingredients are water, uh, organic malted barley hops and yeast. Uh, best before on this one is very faintly put just there. It's actually March 18. So, now, further ado, enough a waffle from me. Let's get to the reason why we all come to watch these videos, and that is to get what's in here. So, pop it up. A little bit of smoke there, nice little hiss too. Let's pour it in. Now, I have had this before. I've had it on um, on draft a few times, mostly at beer festivals. It's kind of like the beer that I, I go to towards the end of the night. Um, there's this one and there's the uh, the Russian Imperial Stout. I tend to gravitate towards them towards the end of the day because of the higher ABV. It's kind of like a nightcap as if you, if you want. It sends me off home quite nicely. So there we go. Beer in the glass. Then what have we got? Just over, just under two fingers of slightly off white, almost cream head. Tight, compact bubbles. Fizzle quite nicely. It's hazy. Uh, let's see if we can put the light through. 
just a little bit peeking through at the bottom of the glass there. But it does say it's bottle condition, that probably is unfiltered. Uh, so, get a nose to see what it smells like. Oh, that's lovely. That smells exactly what you want, to, what an IPA to smell like. It smells of citrus, it smells of oranges. It smells of, uh, yeah, citrus. A little bit sweet, possibly a touch of honey. Let's get the rest of it in. A little bit of malt, but predominantly, as it says on the, on the back there, intense citrus, and it really is intense. Okay, let's give it a ten. taste it. Cheers. Whoa, that's good. Carbonation is really, really light. Again, it just dances on your tongue. Disappears quite rapidly. The body is light to medium. There's a little bit of an alcohol burn there, but it's he's smashing. Taste wise, you get a lot of citrus. Nice, but then a nice bitterness. But some, the bitterness is really rounded. Kind of rolls along your tongue, and then it leaves this dryness right there uh, over here. Ah, rah, 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 rah. Nice and dry, and it makes your mouth water. Makes you want more. Makes me want more anyway. Let's get. There's a couple of bits of the sediments got in there. I'm not bothered about that to be fair too much. There's a big chunk got in. Yeah, there we go. Let's see if we can see it. There's a couple of bits at the bottom there, but it's my own fault. I poured it in. It did say. I didn't find the instructions correctly because, as per usual, I'm a bloke and blokes don't read instructions. Anyway. This is lovely. It's a lovely, lovely, lovely IPA. That's 6.6%. 6 .6%. A few of these will knock you on your leg, knock you your legs, knock your legs from underneath you and put you on your backside. Um, I really like this. Um, and I would recommend it, and I do, and I do recommend it to friends, especially for going to a beer festival. Um, at the end of September, there's one in, in St George's Hall in Liverpool, and this will be on. And I will again, I will be building up to that one and getting that um, down me towards the end of the night. Couldn't drink too many of them personally. I think one, I say one's enough for me, but it is end of end of session ale but this is very 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 good well done Liverpool Organic not much more to say about the ale for it first um, to be fair if you've had it let me know what you think if you haven't had it and you can find it in your area get hold of it and let me know what you think um, it's lovely the dryness is just great. So, anyway, another one done. Another one in the bank, another one in the box. Two links below. Link to the, the shop where I bought it. Link to the um, Liverpool Organic Brewery. And then we'll go for it. And then the usual places, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Yeah, there you go. Right, so, me done. Out of here. Hail the ale, everybody. Hail the ale.